nation. And you know after the Second World War as an example in Indonesia, what transpired? In Indonesia, the people were saying as they tried to throw off the yoke of Dutch colonialism, they were going in the streets with signs of the people, by the people, for the people. We then sent guns to the Dutch to put down the revolutionary impetus of the people who wanted freedom from Holland. And as I said before, the hypocrisies that have been perpetrated. President Bush was in the Ukraine several weeks ago. He spoke at Kiev. At that time, he said, I'm against the Ukraine becoming an independent country. Basically, I'm in favor of the Soviet Union remaining as a union under the leadership of Gorbachev. When Ukrainian American leaders met with Bush, President Bush, just a short time ago, because in my opinion, President Bush wanted to get Ukrainian American political support in the United States, he switched gears. He said, I will recognize the Ukraine if they vote for independence in the referendum that they had. He switched within a month's period of time for, in my opinion, domestic political reasons. Now, I'm not saying he should have switched or not have switched. He should have been for Ukraine independence or against Ukraine independence. But don't say one thing and then a month later do another thing. Don't speak with forked tongue in terms of what is going on. Now, you've got President Aristide, another example of hypocrisy was kicked out by the Haitian military. If the Haitian military were pro-communist and they kicked out President Aristide, we'd be probably sending troops to Haiti. Or oh, when there are right-wing dictators, military dictators or fascist dictators, that's okay. As long as they're either non-communist or anti-communist, then we'll support them, even though they're dictators. Well, how about the human rights? Mr. President, well, as long as they're against Bolshevism, what do we care if they deny human rights? And look what we did in Somalia. Somalia is being rent. There are sub-clans within a general clan of people around the southern part of Somalia in the capital of Mogadishu, formerly Italian Somaliland. The north was British Somaliland. The North is broken away after the dictator body was overthrown by the United uh, Liberation Front of the Somali people. We had supported Bari, one of the most ruthless dictators, loved to bomb villages up in the north, like Erigalo and Hargiza, to kill women and children. We supported the anti-government group in Mozambique. Their specialty was killing women and children, the Renamo. We support a Mobutu in Zaire, ruthless dictator. Why? Because he was against the communist regime in Angola, which is next door. And therefore, we tolerated his dictatorial methodologies and torture and torture because he was an anti-communist. And what happened to human rights? Oh, if the communists violate human rights, we're against the work for human rights. But when our friends, the dictators, we have supported since the Second World War, violate human rights, as long as they're anti-communist, as long as they're anti-communist, 